Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Katie and today I'm planning for the week of July 26th to whatever the last day is. We'll find out. Um, I never prepare for that part of the sentence. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it's been a rough couple days here in the U.S. for women and I'm not feeling great or my chattiest self. So this might be a little more fast forwarding than usual. I'm drowning my sorrows in real life by playing a video game called Planet Zoo, which is like a SimCity style game where you build a zoo. I'm really enjoying it. It's helping pass the time. So I'm going to use these stickers from this recollection sticker book from Michaels. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna put some things down. I'm using, uh, I don't usually talk about buying pens this much, but I don't have any dates on here and I'm going to need them and I don't feel like finding date covers. So I'm just going to write it in. This is the Diplomat Magnum Medium fountain pen and the ink in it. I will put on the screen because I don't have it in front of me. It's a beautiful green ink. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so I've got that done. This side is fountain pen friendly paper. It's what I've been using. This one is just a random half I already had printed. You can really see the difference that it makes. This one is feathery and doesn't show like the variation like where you pick up the shading that's the word I'm looking for nearly as well but I wanted to use what I have it's the end of the month so we'll finish this up and then um go back to fountain pen friendly uh later I'm going to I didn't talk about my fountain pen this is the Pilot Vanishing Point Blue Carbonesque, and the blue that's in there is Colorverse CMA. And then this is my Vintage Flex. I have a video talking about um, my collection, although it's a little outdated. The Vanishing Point wasn't in there, uh, but I will link that above. This is my Vintage Flex, and I'll put the name of the ink down below. I'm just going to let her in. This month is mostly June. There we go. Alright. Got a lot of that covered. Let's put some stickers down. So for functional boxes, I have these that I like, just print out myself on my Silhouette Cameo. Um, I have them in a bunch of different colors, so we will use those where we want them. And then I'm just going to, like, plonk some stickers down. So, Hippo, chilling here in the water, but maybe with a little washi. Trying to use the washi. That's an ongoing part of my project to stash down, which I will put a link to. Oh no. Okay. Well, that's staying there. There we go. Not perfect, but here we are. Making the most of what we got. So this... Elephant, which elephants have long been my favorite animal since I was a kid, but it's it's a pretty big sticker, and I feel like it wants to be down here. I haven't gotten any elephants in Project Zoo yet. Nor, actually, I'm not sure I have any of these animals in Project Zoo yet. It's still a fun game. Got a little tiger there. I've got these swishes. This was from... I did a 
Chinese New Year spread. I'll post a link to that. These are leftovers from that, but we'll put a little swish there. Um, okay, I think some boxes. I want. I definitely want like a sloth hanging from a box. Wednesday tends to be a quiet day. So the small box and the big sloth there makes sense to me. This leopard is going to fit in this space. Yeah, not bad. Put it there. Wonder if we should put some washi. Decide not to worry about it. A giraffe down here, although perhaps with a box. No, that's gotta stop happening. The all right, it's it's there. Uh, the fountain pen friendly paper is really easy to pull the stickers up off of. The regular paper, which both times I've gotten stuck because it's been on that, uh, it's not. So I'm going to do like a little chameleon iguana. My reptiles is, aren't great. I don't usually do a lot on Friday. I like the panther. It's a little bit of a weird spot. Although it might match this weird spot, in which case, then we're good. Um, I want a little more hanging. It's just a question of this orangutan or that orangutan. I'm going to go for the bigger one. Yeah, see, that came up no problem on this paper. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a really light dot grid on here, which is helping put these stickers down. <sighs> Quickly and mostly straight. This is the Katie layout in B6 Rings. I will have a link to that and um, to my email list where you can get 20% off. I need something here, like a significant something. I've got this Happy Planner Cast Out Tropics book. Let's see if we can find like a full box sticker that feels appropriate colors aren't that different. Wild and free, does that make sense in a zoo spread? I'm not sure it does. I could do planet zoo with the letters. We got one Z, two O's. I think it'll work. Should we do it? All right. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's like good enough. And we'll put some some leaf stickers there to kind of, well, actually this one has some sparkles. There. Just a little, little something. Let's do 
meals. All right, we need to incorporate a little more washi. Tear little pieces off and attach it to boxes, I think. I really like this washi because when I feel like I need a little something across the top, which happens fairly regularly, I like these ones that have white backgrounds to them so they don't have a lot of visual depth. You're not crazy, these pages are uneven. They were printed differently at different times. And I'm just using them because I don't want to throw them out. Put some of the days of the week here. I usually put social media here, but I usually only schedule it for like five days a week. All right. I think that's it. Oh, hopefully I was in frame. So I will write in it in this pen, maybe a little, although not a lot. It seems like it's the right thing for the headings. The, I'm sorry, the green pen is blue. And then I have this one here, which is in a reddish brown color that I think will look nice. It's kind of that orangutan color. So that's what I plan on writing in it this week with my fountain pens and uh, let's be honest, playing more video games. So I hope you enjoyed this video despite it being short and not that chatty. Uh, I have another video scheduled to go up later this week, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about next weekend because I'm actually traveling to Chicago on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So. I don't know what's going to happen. We will both find out what happens based on what happens. Well put, Katie. All right. Well, <laughs> if you happen to like this video, hit the like button. If you would like to see more from me, indescribably based on this spread, uh, hit the subscribe button and you'll see other plan with me's, other um, planner ideas, often more involved than this one. And I will talk to you soon. Stay well, friends. Bye.